Hello, this is Salman from St. Anthony's High School. Today I am going to explain you about the functions of human digestive system. This is the diagram of human digestive system. These are the organs involved in the digestion. Salivary glands, esophagus, diaphragm, liver, gallbladder, common bile duct, duodenum, transverse colon, ascending colon, sacrum, appendix, anus, pharynx, oral cavity, tongue, stomach, pancreas, pancreatic duct, small intestine, descending colon, sigmoid colon, rectum, and anal canal. So now what is digestive system? The system of organs responsible for getting food into and out of the body for making use of food to keep the body healthy. The digestive system includes the mouth, salivary glands, esophagus, stomach, liver, gallbladder, pancreas, small intestine, colon that is large intestine and lastly rectum. So now how these organs work together in our digestive system? Firstly mouth. The mouth is the beginning of the digestive tract. After we start eating saliva mixes with the food to begin to break it down into a form your body can absorb and use. After chewing the food, the food goes to the esophagus. This is located in our throat near our throat, throat near our trachea. The esophagus receives food from our mouth when we swallow. A ring-like muscle at the bottom of our esophagus called the lower esophageal sphincter has to release to let the food after traveling through esophagus, food reaches to the stomach. It holds food while being mixed with the stomach enzymes. These enzymes continue the process of breaking down food into a usable form. Nextly, it goes to the small intestine. This is made up of three segments and they are duodenum, jejunum and ileum. It breaks down food using enzymes released by the pancreas and bile from the liver. Nextly, it reaches to the pancreas. It secretes digestive enzymes into the duodenum that breaks down proteins, fats and carbohydrates. Nextly, its liver's turn. It has many functions but its main job within the digestive system is to process the nutrients absorbed from the small intestine. Nextly, its gallbladder stone. It stores and concentrates bile from the liver and release into the duodenum and to absorb and digest fats. Nextly, its colon stone, that is also called large intestine. It is responsible for processing waste so that emptying the bowels in easy and convenient. Nextly, its rectal stern. Its job is to receive stool from colon and to hold the stool until the evacuation happens. And lastly, anus. Anus is the last part of the digestive tract. When we get an urge to go to the bathroom, we rely on our external sphincter. We rely on our ex external sp sphincter to hold the stool until reaching a toilet where it then relaxes to release the contents. So now this is how digestion happens. Thank you.